Hey, Robbie live from the Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at making your very first Harness CI or drone plugins. Plugins allow you to extend the platform. For example, if there's something you want to do and there's no native support for it, a good way is to use plugins. You might be using a plugin on NoLink today. If you're using a Docker push, you're actually leveraging a plugin in Harness CI or drone. There's several good uses for plugins. We can take a look at how a plugin is actually configured and set up. A plugin is no different than an application that you've written that drone is actually building. In fact, a plugin is a Docker container or Docker image uh, that is being run as part of your build process with drone or harness CI. Uh, the main mechanism of getting information back and forth between your configuration, which is a YAML, and actually inside the plugin are these environmental variables that get injected. Uh, we can actually take a look at an end-to-end -end example. For example, here is harness CD. Now, in previous examples, we've used a registry or artifact repository to be the integration point. But as you know, Harness CD does have a very robust set of APIs that we can actually do with some sort of a push instead of a pulling request if there was a new artifact. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that actually looks like now. If this is your first time using these products, don't worry. There's plenty of great information out there. Taking a quick look at Harness CI, aka Drone, I actually have two products or two projects here that I've worked on. I'm working on the actual plugin and also a particular project that's leveraging the plugin. Uh, let's actually take a look at the anthology of a plugin here. So if we look at the drone harness trigger, uh, this actually will look very familiar to a drone or harness CI file. Uh, going piece by piece, looking at the example here, uh, the usage is basically this. As a part of a particular pipeline step, we can, we can inject this particular piece of YAML and all of the particular facets that are needed uh, for the harness CD trigger to get fired off is wired in here. Uh, we can take a look at the application, that which is written in Python, and we can take a look at that in a minute. But first, since we have a goal, let's say we want to build a particular pipeline in Drone and have that kick off a particular harness build or deployment, let's take a look at that. So going to the harness dashboard, I actually have everything set up, but we can actually make a new application. So I'm running a Kubernetes delegate and also there's a Kubernetes cluster in the back end. In this example, I'll be deploying to Kubernetes, building a Docker image, then deploying it to, with Harness CI, then deploying that particular Docker image to Kubernetes with Harness CD. Let's go ahead and make something new. Let's go click on setup. Uh, the, one, the application that we made already in the blog post is DevOps Dojo, but let's go ahead and make a new one. Let's just call that DevOps Ninja. Yes. So when you make a harness application, there's a few bits and pieces that you have to wire together. This is our CD abstraction model. So we're going to go ahead and do this very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is make an environment. We're going to add an environment. We're going to call this the Ninja environment. It's a non-prod environment. Click submit. Go ahead and make an infrastructure definition. Now I already have a Kubernetes cluster running. And so we'll just call this Ninja K8, cloud provider will be a Kubernetes cluster, uh, our deployment type will be a Kubernetes deployment. Everything is already provisioned. I'm going to go ahead and deploy to our CI CD cluster. Default and this is fine. Go ahead and click submit. A couple more pieces of wiring that we need. We actually need to define a service. Go ahead and add a service. I'm just going to call this the amazing Ninja app. The Kubernetes based deployment, click submit. Go ahead and wire an artifact. So if we take a look at actually Docker Hub, uh, part of the output of my original pipeline is this thing called the amazing application or the amazing app. We have a few tags here. Now if we come, kind of come back and look at the sandbox application that we have, uh, we're basically building a, a Go application. Now this one's already completed. Uh, we'll get back to this. Uh, but before it was completed, this is all that was available here. So we're basically building a Go application. This is the exact same application uh, that we had in our first demonstration. I did increment the version though. So with the new version, we'll actually use Harness to deploy. And we're actually going to increment that one time. So if we take a look back at the Harness platform, we're going to go ahead and add an artifact source from our Docker registry. And it's going to be from Docker Hub. And then since it's going to be the amazing app, Go ahead and click submit. And perfect. Now that's wired in there. Let's go ahead and wire the other couple pieces that we need. Go back to DevOps Ninja. And lastly, you need to wire a workflow. Go ahead and create a workflow. This is going to call this Deploy Ninja. It's going to be a rolling deployment. 
going to go to Ninja Environment, we're going to deploy our amazing Ninja app, and our Ninja Cades. See a common theme here. And that's almost it. The last thing that we want to do now is actually we want to go ahead and make a trigger. So this will be a new step if you haven't seen it before in some of our prior videos. We're going to get a new wire, a new trigger. Let's call this web, de web deploy or web hook deploy. Go ahead and give it some description. On a new webhook event, uh, the payload type will be custom. Click next. Execution type will be the workflow we just made. We're going to make the we're going to execute the deploy ninja, and then we're going to actually going to get the artifact source uh, from the payload, right? So this is going to be very important if you take a look at our particular plugin that we made. Uh, since we might not know the actual version uh, before we push it, we're actually going to have that as as I increment versions in my application here, it will be pushing that to harness to deploy the latest. So let's go ahead and click next and click submit. And that's pretty much it. If you click on manual trigger, this will give us all of the information uh, that we need to deploy. Now, if we take a look back at uh, what we actually need to do, so now that we have this, uh, here comes a part of the plugin. So let's actually dissect what a plugin actually is. So in this example of a plugin, you use pretty much any language, using Python here. So we're building a Python image of the particular plugin. So you can fire up your favorite IDE. Here I have PyCharm. Uh, which I've used uh, my friend Luis and I made to write this. And basically we're taking in parameters from uh, the, the drone or harness the YAML and getting them as environmental variables. So account ID, API key, application ID, and et cetera, what we need to formulate a particular request. Uh, all this is in the documentation, how to fire a web request, and then making a JSON object and sending it back. I also have a test harness, <laughs> no pun intended, to make sure all this has worked, uh, worked properly. So if we go back to our UI here, uh, there's a few things that we can do. Now taking a look at it end to end, uh, the first one we want to take a look at is actually the sandbox here. And so if, let's say we wanted to go ahead and build this, we can increment versions. Uh, similarly, if we want to go ahead and build a particular drone YAML or probably the drone plugin, uh, we can take a look at the drone YAML. So the similar facilities that you have uh, to actually build uh, a particular Artifact is the same facilities you make to build a drone plugin. Um, here are some descriptions. Here's the usage I created. And uh, let's go ahead and get all that uh, submitted. So we already have this. We need to rebuild this. But let's say we want to go ahead and rebuild our sandbox application. And so if we want to take a look at incrementing this maybe to version 1.0.3, uh, we can say push 1.0.3. Oh, pardon me. Go ahead, say commit change. And Joan should be building that for us. So we should take a look. Click into it as it's going along its steps. It's going through the publish step, and then we can take a look at the harness deploy step. It looks like the push is just finishing up, and our deployment step is complete. And wow, that was actually pretty quick. It actually beat me to it here. Uh, here is our particular workflow that was just executed. And just like that, you have made your actually leverage your very first Harness CI drone plugin to actually interact with uh, Harness CD. There's a lot of art of the possible here. So if these particular plugins don't meet your requirements, then you can always create one and hopefully you can also contribute back to the community. Until next time, cheers, Robbie.